Insightful journey is a six minutes vlog. The urge of putting the less than half an hour original video is a crime on Facebook. So I speed up the footage, maintaining its integral part. I save the film for posterity's sake. But the original article I rediscovered from my WordPress site, Tiny Titanic Thoughts, which remained idle for so many years. That's one thing good with social media. Once you get in there, it remains forever. Part one of this blog is our departure from Winnipeg and our visits to Bollywood. On our way back to Mabuhay Manor, the hotel where we stayed, an incident occurred. The car we rented cruising along the inner lane of North Diversion Road had its rear tires losing air. The new cars behind zoom at 100 kilometers. Abrupt change lane or stops can be fatal. Our driver clicked the signal going to the shoulder. Minutes later, the escort security came out of nowhere and accosted us. Those guys helped replace the tires. We had our lesson. The next time we travel back home, we make sure we use a rented, well-conditioned vehicle. Part 2 of the video is our visit to the underground river in Palawan, a 3-hour trip from Puerto Pinzel. At the hotel we're booking, they arrange everything, transport, bank rent, tourist guide, food. Newed in traveling in 2007 before Palawan, Globe and Mail newspaper gave us a promo for 10 days to get away to London and Paris as subscribers. Moore had planned it. That's good. Miscalculation happens when you're a greenhorn taking a trip. From our hotel near the Metro Airport, we learned that the best way to downtown London is by taking an underground train called the Two. For three days, we took the Piccadilly Line going to the heart of London and roam around the city using the big bus tours. On our fourth day, we tube again to Piccadilly Circus Station and from there, we walked to St. Patras Station for us to get to France. And from France, we will fly to Montreal, then back to Winnipeg. We'll pack our essentials in our non-wheel duffel bag. And while walking our way to St. Pancras, the handlebar snapped, forcing me to use the shoulder strap. I remembered Clint Eastwood in the Django movie. Its soundtrack rang in my ears, pulling a coffin, while I dragged our carry-on luggage. Most male Londoners took pity on me and offered help. I am too embarrassed. When we got to France, we bought luggage right away. That travel paved the way for my wife to become a good vacation flyer. Since then, she had been so itchy testing her new vocation. We visited the Philippines in 2005 and we stayed in one place. We didn't venture on those exciting scenic spots. That's a disgrace. Out of unpatriotic guilt, here we come to the grandest holiday planned by my wife which includes our two daughters, their first time to set foot in the Philippines after 20 years.